And welcome to another video. What was going on in that? Well, it has something to do with what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about two things you should think about when on stage. Well, maybe not when you're on stage, before you're on stage. Well, well, you'll see. Roll the intro. <laughs> So, today we're going to talk about two things that can make you look better on stage. Now, the first one is uh, very much a kind of grand movement type of thing. Now, I'm thinking in terms of Freddie Mercury, I'm thinking in terms of Yngwie Malmsteen, people like that. Now, if you watch these people, they don't make small, subtle movements. Well, they might make a few, but uh, for, for instance, Freddie Mercury, he was very much about large, big movements. Ingve Malmsteen throws his guitar around, he plays behind his neck, he plays with his teeth. Stuff that anyone can see, even in the back rows. Now this is especially important if you're playing a larger venue, because the further away people are, the less they're going to notice stuff, unless it's really like, whoa, yeah! <laughs> That kind of stuff. Now, if you're only doing kind of small movements and it's a big place, people won't see. Now, it's great. I mean, doing small stuff uh, can also be great, but think about the big stuff as well. Think about the big picture, because the big stuff helps the big picture as well. The small stuff can be great. I mean, I, you might have eye contact with someone in the front row, do kind of wink, wink type thing to a good looking lady or a good looking guy depends what you like um, and that's fine but the people in the back row ain't gonna notice they ain't gonna see that uh, if you're on camera if it's being filmed the wink wink type stuff might look good might not in my case it might look bad um, but this is stuff you want to think about so if you watch any kind of old Queen uh, recording live recording Freddie Mercury was doing uh, big moves big stuff Ingve Malmsteen does big stuff and so on. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be like Ingve Malmsteen, you have to be like Freddie Mercury. I want you to think about this stuff because uh, you can adapt it to whatever it is you want to do. Uh, the second thing is uh, how you look. This is more of a kind of small thing, maybe for smaller venues uh, a bit more, but uh, your facial expressions and how you are on stage how you behave. It can also be big stuff, but maybe more smaller stuff. Now, let's take an analogy here. If you're playing, uh, let's say, this kind of music. Maybe it's not the best idea to dress all in black and have some kind of face mask on with blood dripping and all that. Maybe it's more appropriate to look happy and or maybe you need to wear leather pants, I don't know. Um, but the point I'm trying to make is that uh, it's theater. Being on stage is theater. Uh, it can help to think about it in those terms because sometimes stuff is going horribly wrong and you might be in a bad mood. Now, you don't want to look like this. Uh, you're, let's say you're in a bad mood and you're playing... I don't know what you, why you would be playing this stuff, but anyway, if, let's say you were. And everything's bad and you're going... That'll transmit straight to the audience that there's something wrong and they won't be into it as much. Um, Depending on what you're doing, you want to kind of adapt your stage persona to that situation. 
Now, you don't want your stage persona to be the same persona that you are in regular life. When in regular life, you're allowed to kind of show what it is, whatever you're feeling, um, at least to a certain extent, because on stage, you're that person that, uh, well, not that person, you're that persona that's standing in front of the audience. So you want to be a different guy or girl on stage than at home, unless you're Ingve Malmsteen. Hi, Ingve, if you're watching this, <laughs> I doubt you are, uh, because I think he's very much a rock star all the time. So try to think of it as theater. Now, this comes in really handy when things are going really poorly, so that you kind of it might be a natural role for you when things are going good and believe me when things are going good and it's fun to play you're hearing everything everything's working fine it's relatively easy but when things are going bad really bad that's when you're kind of measured as a musician are you any good or as a performer are you any good despite the fact that everything's going poorly your amp blew up you have a spare amp that sucks um, you're still delivering a great show. People are going to know, at least some people are going to know, especially if your amp blows up in the middle of the set, you change amp and it sounds terrible and you're still going, kind of, yeah, go, yeah. Uh, they're going to know and they're going to give you tons of more credit than when it's just going well. Uh, so when it's not going well, it helps to have that kind of persona ready to kind of pull from the whatever, pull from whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, well, you kind of have it, have it ready so you can step into that role. Uh, because when it goes poorly, you kind of get thrown out of that role and you have to think about it and okay, I'll be that kind of guy again or girl. Uh, can't be too careful in these gender new gender neutral times. Um, anyway, so that's kind of the thing. Treat the whole thing as theater, both with the grand movements and also with kind of how you are on stage. And if you're playing a heavy kind of... <laughs> try to match your kind of facial expressions and all your kind of how you are on stage with that. Although it might be fun to <laughs> have a kind of stage persona where you're doing that kind of stuff and being really happy. It might be even better if you actually played anything correctly. <laughs> I decided to add something to the end of this video because I realized I'd forgotten something. Now, this applies to everything else that you're doing as well, where you're performing. Now, if you're speaking in front of people, it can help to have a kind of stage persona. If you're making uh, videos, it can help. I remember when I was starting out doing this stuff, and I'm still not any good at this, but, well, getting better. Um, but the old videos, the first videos where I was talking, were really, they were really not very good. Um, and I was, I've been watching loads of YouTube videos, especially about guitar uh, recently. And there was, I was watching this one guitar player who's got a very popular YouTube site where he does lessons and reviews and all kinds of stuff. Um, and he's hugely popular. I'm not going to mention his name because I don't want to bash any, anyone. But he was saying like, um, today we're going to have a bit of fun or something to that effect. Today we're going to be having a bit of fun, but he was saying it with this kind of this face. Today we're going to be having a bit of fun. Now the facial expression totally threw me when I kind of listened to what he said. To have fun. You don't look it, you don't look it at all. This was a video about weird and wacky guitar techniques. Fun stuff like... <laughs> And he was playing with his teeth in, uh, in one section of the video. But this was his kind of default face. Now this is another fun technique. What's going on there? So try to, kind of if you're doing this video type thing as well, or whatever kind of public 
performance type thing. Try to think about how you're presenting yourself and your material because it might make a huge difference to how well you're received. That's basically all I have for today. Try to uh, have a kind of stage persona that you can step into when things are going wrong and try to think about that stage persona, the movements on stage, on a small scale of course, but especially on a big scale because these big scale things are things that we're not really used to doing. We might be used to winking, uh, kind of pulling faces and all that, but the big stuff is really, really, for most of us, not very natural. We don't go into the store and say, Hello, I want to buy a carton of milk, please. You know what I mean? So, uh, that was all for this weird lesson slash discussion slash, I don't know what, what to call this. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's a bit of noodling with a totally inappropriate face.